Should you rent out or sell your investment house? Hi, my name is Julia M. Spencer. I'm a real estate advisor, investor, and your number one source for real estate advice online. And with this video, I want to talk about a question I had from somebody that sent it to me on Facebook. By the way, you can find me on social media. Just type in my name, Julia M. Spencer. Don't forget the M in the middle. You can go to my website too. It's at the bottom of this video. And my channel is dedicated to teach you anything and everything to know about real estate investing. And um, yeah, check out my website. I have ebooks. Um, subscribe to YouTube here so you can get updates when I send videos and get your free guide to real estate investing also on my website. So let's get right into these, um, this question that I had from um, a person from um, Jabari Wells from, um, not sure where he's from, I think, Delaware, Delaware, yes. And um, he's asking me, he lives in Delaware, which is a tax deed state with a grace period of 60 days instead of a year. And um, actually there's a two part question, but the first question was actually, should he buy, when he buys a house at a tax sale foreclosure, um, should he um, basically fix it up, put a lot of money into it, fix it up and flip it or, um, and then sell it or should he rent it? So this is a question um, that has a couple of parts to it. And, I kind of answered it, but it it needs to be evaluated. So um, there, there's actually no way for me to answer that question one way or the other. Um, if you have a real estate investment property, whether you should sell it or rent it, really kind kind of very much depends on your individual situation and the property. Here's a couple of things though that you need to consider. First, if you planning on first off, if you purchase a tax sale foreclosure and you want to rent it, you're going to have to fix it. Um, most of the properties that I buy have some serious maintenance issues and need to be remodeled or fixed up or put into a um, place where they're safe for um, somebody to live there. Um, all kinds of things may need to be replaced, you know, all the systems, water heater, electricity, plumbing, um, insulation, roof, whatever. So it takes a lot of money to actually put a tenant in a property that hasn't been occupied in a while. If you're lucky and you get a tax of foreclosure that doesn't need much remodeling, by all means, rent it. But if you have to put tons and thousands and thousands of dollars into it to, to make it rentable, it's probably easier for you when you get started in any case to use that money on more tax sale foreclosures and the first couple that you buy to just sell them and take the profit. Now let's let's take that down the road a little bit further. If you do, do decide to do that, then um, what you'll be stuck with is um, selling properties at a profit will put you into a place where the IRS wants a piece of that, which is ca called capital gains taxes. I made lots of videos on, on depreciation. I've not made a whole lot of videos on capital gains taxes, but basically anything and everything that you make in this day and age in the United States and probably everywhere in the world um, legally, um, you'll have to pay taxes on it. And what capital gains taxes is, is basically if you purchase a piece of property for cheap, you sell it for expensive, you're going to have to pay taxes on that difference, which is your profit. Now, there's ways to get around capital gains taxes. And um, you have to, there, there's lots of really, really interesting ways. Actually, there's, I made a video about how to avoid or minimize capital gains taxes. You can find it right here on my YouTube channel. There's other ways too that I don't really openly talk about that are described in my eBooks. Um, there are different ways of how to, um, not avoid taxes, but, but get around paying all so much right away. Um, if you have any questions about that, just contact me. Um, but in the end, if you want to make a quick buck and quick profit and quick turnaround, you're going to have to pay capital gains taxes. And it's, it's really kind of unavoidable. And you do want to pay some capital gains taxes because if you start skirting the IRS man, they're going to get suspicious and they're going to start investigating and poking. And even if you have nothing to hide, it's just a pain in the butt to go through an audit. So not to scare you, if you can buy a cheap tax sale foreclosure and sell it at a profit 
and you have to pay some money on the capital gains, well, that's not too bad because you actually made money to pay those taxes. So you're not having to just dish out a bunch of taxes for not having made any money. You actually made money. So, so just be aware of that if you sell a property um, that you will be responsible to pay capital gains. And there's ways to get around those capital gains or at least minimize them significantly. Now, if you choose to instead hold on to the property, of course, now you become a holder of real estate, which gets you into the category of lots of really cool benefits. And um, I talk about those on my radio show. I also talked about those in other videos. But basically, the five main dimensions of real estate investing, of the real estate investing asset class, and they are depreciation expenses that you can start taking um, that of course depends how much you paid for the property. Um, appreciation of the property because it's going to be worth more in the future than it is today hopefully if it was a good real estate investment. Cash flow, you're going to get cash flow from your tenants. Obviously if you don't have a mortgage you're going to have a lot of cash flow which is great and um, which you'll have to pay taxes on again. And um, of course you have um, diversification if you have um, other investments. Real estate is kind of like the stable one that is a little bit more immune to inflation than most of the other um, asset classes out there, stocks, bonds, and, and other things, cash. Um, so it's good to have real estate in your investing portfolio. And you know, last but not least, amortization. So if you just choose, um, once you purchase a tax of foreclosure property, um, to um, get a loan on it, which you can use that money to buy more tax of foreclosures. And over time, the tenants will pay with their rent payments those loans off or the loan off, which means amortization, which basically somebody else pays off a loan that you took in your name that you can use the money for other investments. So that's the five dimensions that sort of universally apply to anybody and everybody that's holding real estate for a long time. Um, so to answer the question um, whether or not you should fix the property and flip it or should you sell it, should you rent it instead, it just depends. Um, if you have very little money and you're just starting off and you need quick cash, just flip it and sell it. If you want a steady income and you're trying to build a long-term goal of being a real estate investor and you have no problems being a landlord and you know how that works. By the way, I have an ebook on how, the essential landlord guide. You should check it out on my website. Um, then be a tenant. Now, what I have done, this is my personal story here. Um, I typically sell most every tax sale foreclosure that I buy very quickly and I don't fix them or flip them. And that's because in my system, I buy the very, very cheap ones that are very much um, needing a lot of rehab. And I don't do rehab, or I've done rehab, I'm done with rehab, I'm not doing rehab anymore, I'm letting somebody else do that. So I, I purchase tax sale foreclosures, I sell them, and um, I sell them, I purchase them through my IRA account, my retirement account. And it's a Roth IRA, and as you know, any income that the Roth IRA makes is tax-free when you withdraw the money. So instead of me making the investment, my retirement fund makes the investment, and my retirement fund grows. And so a lot of the capital gains taxes are avoided that way. Um, now, I have also purchased tax of foreclosures and sold them just for regular, um, just for regular normal market sales prices and I have made profit and I paid the um, uh, the capital gains taxes on that but the thing is the rest of my tax situation because I have so much real estate and I have so many expenses and I have um, vacation rentals there's a lot of things that are that I can write off and I'm a full full-time real estate professional so everything all the money that I make is active income it's not passive income and active income this is a whole nother tax story um, I can take all those deductions so for me to realize a profit that I have to pay capital gains taxes on 
that's fine because it, it's set off by other expenses and deductions that I can take. So, again, in summary, should you um, flip a property and sell it, uh, bought it at a tax sale foreclosure, or should you keep it and rent it? Depends on your situation. If you're starting off, you don't have much money, I would say just wholesale it. Don't fix it, just buy it, just buy it and then sell it as is for a cheaper price to the next flipper or the next construction expert that wants to take on a project. Um, if you um, already have an established portfolio of lots of properties that, um, and you have to worry about capital gains taxes, then, make, then just keep it. Keep it until you need to sell it. And that's my tip. I um, hope it's not too involved. Um, unfortunately, there wasn't really a very specific way for me to answer this question without knowing, knowing more information. Um, about this person that asked it. I don't know if he has a regular job that is um, outside the real estate professional um, realm and if he has active income that's not real estate related. Um, and of course, you know, my thing with selling properties and getting the quick cash out of them, just one last little tidbit is um, it, once you decide you sell a piece of property, um, you kind of have to it's, it's great to have all the cash in your pocket, but the thing is, it's not about how much money you make, but it's how much money of that do you keep. So if it's more beneficial to you to not sell and not get the big chunk of cash all at once, then don't do it. Um, defer that or figure out some other way, or figure out a way um, how to spend it right away. Figure out some way to reinvest it very quickly. Uh, or some somehow apply to your other real estate where it's tax deductible. Always, always make these decisions with um, the IRS in, in the back of your mind, in the back of your head, the IRS man's following me here. There's a song about that in the 80s, right? Can't remember. Um, anyway, the IRS is always watching you. I'm watching the IRS. So um, we work a little symbiotic relationship here. And... Um, Minimize your taxes. It's about how much money you keep, not how much money you get. Selling a property very quickly for profit may not be most beneficial in your case, um, but also renting may not be beneficial because you might not be the landlord type person. So um, those are all the things that you need to consider, whether you want to keep or sell a tax sale foreclosure. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to add them to the bottom of this video. I look forward to hear them and to um, answer to them. I'm trying to answer every single message on YouTube and emails that I get, but um, at this point now, I'm getting so many messages on um, various social media platforms as well as my emails. Just rest assured that I read every question and um, I may not immediately answer, but I'll try my very best. It just might be that I'm a little bit overwhelmed right then, and but I'm not ignoring you. So keep pinging me and keep putting those comments. And I encourage you to talk amongst each other too. Um, if you're subscribed, read the comments. Other people left, feel free to answer to them if you have, if you have good input. And um, I mean, we're all in this together and I'm gonna try to help you the best that I can. And for more tips, go to my website, juliamspencer.com and subscribe. And I, have, I hope you have a great day investing. Thank you. For your free guide to real estate investing, visit juliamspencer.com.